Hey everyone, if this is your first time to the channel, please do so. Make sure that you're subscribed. Hit that bell for notifications. So that way you don't miss another video like this one coming your way. Also, don't forget to hit the like button. It does help our channel grow uh, with your support. Uh, and also, please feel free to leave a comment. Uh, all comments are answered here uh, or answered as best as I can here from Moe's Toy Room. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Moe's Toy Room. Come from Mom to Yours. And today, here is the remaining video of the last of Series 1 Scream Greats from Trick or Treat Studios. This is their new Scream Greats line. Uh, it included these three killer clowns from outer space. Uh, Michael Myers, uh, Jacob Atkins from Candy Corn, uh, Vincent, Farmer Vincent from Motel Hell, and Candyman, and those videos, uh, Candyman Farewell to the Flesh, I believe it is the new Candyman, those videos are in my library right now, so this is the final installment of Trick or Treat Studios 8-inch um, line, so it looks like some of these are going to be a lot bigger than 8-inch, these figures are very big and beefy folks, as you could tell, we have Fatso, uh, Shorty, and slim you can see there right there these are for ages 17 and up not intended for children and especially not intended for children under three years old all right folks so let me turn these guys around so that way you can see what the very back of these backer cards do look like right here uh, you can see that they are big and beefy folks so just to let you know um, yeah, you can see your killer clowns from outer space right there. Uh, short, uh, you got Slim, Shorty, and Fatso, of course. And then if you want to do a side profile to show you the beefiness of these packages, yes, they are very beefy. And what I mean by this is, folks, the only problem that I've had with some of these figures is not only are they beefy, they're very heavy. So if you're an inbox collector, um please keep that in mind so when you hang them on the wall um yeah they're gonna be hanging there especially like a slim this very large figure and fatso ain't as, as heavy as i thought he would be but yeah especially with them um you could see it and what i mean by is this okay so right here on shorty is on the past figures with the michael myers ones and the and I believe it might have been the former uh, Vincent. Uh, they were starting to come off of the backer card. So something to keep in mind. Uh, I did express the fact that, um, yeah, I know Trigger Tree Studios watches my videos. They watch them very closely. So um, I do know that I'm thinking that maybe in the future, maybe they can fill this whole area with plastic. So leave the backer card the way it is. What do you guys think? And just continue the plastic all the way around it. And in the future, it will be a lot better for inbox collectors to be able to, you know, have their stuff. And then Trick or Treat Studios wouldn't be so worried on getting them in uh, collectors' hands and say, I want my, my item mint. I want it mint, gem mint. Okay, then they wouldn't be so worried because these guys are $34.99 US dollars and they are sold out on Trick or Treat Studios' website. Just letting you know. Um, but they were available with um, through the Toy Slayer on eBay. eBay, uh, the Toy Slayer had them. Um, and I don't know if he has them in stock anymore. I'd have to check with him. Uh, but he also has them at the same price, $34.99. Uh, you got to pay some shipping on them, though. But these are some big, beefy figures to keep in mind. So, uh, yeah, it might cost a little bit more on shipping. So... There you have it, folks. Let's take these guys out the package and check them out up close. All right, folks. First off, tell the tape. We're going to start with Shorty. So these are for their 8-inch line. So they got to keep it right, okay? So Shorty is checking in from very bottom of foot to the very tip right there of his hair, okay? It's 7 half inches tall. And then Fatso is looking at eight and three quarter inches tall uh okay so with shorty with centimeters wise shorty was a little over 19 70 centimeters well around there yeah he's at 19 centimeters and then with uh fatso he is also um how big did i say he was eight and three quarter inches 
and he is looking at around um, let's see here 22 and a quarter centimeters they're big okay and then with slim wow slim is freaking huge uh, from bottom of clown boot to very tip of that back one right there okay our slim is not so slim he's slightly below nine and a half inches slightly below okay so um he's looking at centimeters wise yeah he's looking at probably about 23 and three quarter centimeters around there wow these guys are big okay so you're wondering the accessories what they bring um yeah slim tends to bring his gun so yeah we've seen these these are very popular obviously he has to have it and then fatso tends to bring the same exact thing all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give you an up close on these guys and then you could check them out uh and let me know what you guys think so there you go there is fatso look how he looks he looks amazing okay so and then you have shorty wow shorty looking pretty damn cool liking it and then you got my man slim <laughs> that big slim guy looking funny as hell all right so then you got that let's pose them to the side for you to check them out how they look on the side these figures do stand on their own so just letting you know and the NECA stands have been working for these so just to give you a heads up okay so there you are from the side you could check that out how that looks okay their side lineup and yeah they didn't miss a beat when they went on to these figures I'll tell you that um, they got the colors right everything's right about them so the only thing is they they don't have all the articulation but I mean with the killer clowns from outer space how much articulation do you really need <laughs> all right okay so there you go okay give you the rundown like that because I'm doing three at a time so I normally don't do it like this folks so and you know that if you are if this is your first time to the channel um, yeah I, I'm doing three at a time so I'm showing you how they look that way you can see the colors on them and then I'm sure you didn't want to wait for three other videos like, you know, others would have done. But I wouldn't have did that. You know, I'm not trying to waste your time here. I'm just trying to make you guys happy. And I know you want to see all three at the same time. All right. So we are going to start our review off with the, uh, let's see, let's start with Slim. Okay, so I'm sure everybody wants Shorty right away. So Shorty is the popular one. Um, so we're going to start with Slim. And Slim, his, when I pulled him out the package, he's not so slim. Damn, this guy's so damn big. All right, so when I pulled him out the package, his head came off. Okay, it's on a ball joint, so I will let you know that he is on a ball joint. Um, but, so hopefully the review goes good. Um, head looks down, does look up okay is that still on camera yeah okay making sure here's that michael myers side to side yeah looks really evil and he's on a ball joint so his head will spin around okay so arms will go up only about there because his little uh like skirt thing that goes around his neck is in the way so as far as articulation and then you can get his arms to move around they can obviously go all the way around because they are on a hinge uh, so just letting you guys know that okay and then as far as the hands yeah this hand I'm having trouble getting to move but it does move um, and then this one moves quite well so yeah this would be the one that he would put his gun and the rest of the figure there is no articulation but he does stand on his own which is really cool and then you're wondering does he hold his gun okay so let's see here ouch okay so I've been having a lot of trouble with my hands lately, folks. As you can tell, all the cuts and everything that are on them. That's what I do for a living, folks. I have to. So brings me the money. All right. So there you have it. There's how he looks with his gun. 
very impressive. Um, yeah, he, he'll even you could get him to even hold it up if you wanted to. Um, so you could work with all that. Maybe take a little uh, heater and just heat that thing up to get it to move a little bit more. Uh, maneuver it however you want. Look, he's rocking. I hit him and he still won't fall over. So I think they did a good job. Uh, another Killer Clowns from Outer Space one. Not bad. Not a bad deal, folks. All right. So let's move on to the next one. So we are going to move on to, okay, and also on trademarks. There you go on the bottom of the foot. There's your trademark right there, Orion 2023. Sometimes they haven't been engraved on the actual figure. I've been noticing it. All right. So the next one will be Fatso. So there you have Fatso right there. Looks real, real cool, real creepy. Um, so there you have it. Um, yeah, we saw the up close on him. So yeah, his head really barely moves. So very tough and his hair is very pokey. So just letting you know, okay. And then he won't hit the Michael Myers very good, but his head will move around. But I'm thinking that he is in a ball joint. All this is all hard plastic. So just let you know, right off the top, there's no soft and molded plastic on these guys whatsoever, maybe except for their hands, and that's about it. And as far as the arms on fat, so they will go up about there, there you have it. And then like, hey, come outside, come outside that, that diner. Stop eating those tacos, dude. Um, come outside, just let me ray gun you and put you in cotton candy and eat you later, right? Well, we all know that that, remember when they were standing in there at that restaurant? That restaurant is now like a taqueria, I believe. Uh, so, something to keep in mind. <laughs> Don't where the little girl goes out and the guy's got the big old sledgehammer waiting to knock her over the head with it. All right. So then, um, yeah, the rest of the body is hollowed. You would think he'd be all beefiness. No, he's hollowed. So just to let you know, uh, and as far as his hand movement, yeah, this one's the hands move really good. So no problem with him. He's very nice. I like this figure and I like this figure a lot. Actually, I like all these Trick or Treat Studios figures that they put out. I think that they're a hit, folks. And actually, he holds his gun a lot better than uh, Slim does because he can raise his arm higher. So yeah, there you go doesn't have his little neck skirt and in hand up i forgot what they call that too and i was going out as a clown for a while too and it completely slipped my mind um but anyway there you go there is slim next one is the man of the hour everybody favorite shorty all right so here is shorty looks really cool um yeah need i say more this is spot on to him, man. If you don't see it, I don't know what else to tell you. Other than maybe the hair not being real hair, this thing is just spot on shorty, dude. Um, I mean, they could have put a little bit more flake in the um, the yellow, you know, because, you know, shorty had that shine to his outfit. Uh, but other than that, I mean, this is a nice shorty figure. Not bad at all. So the head... Yeah, I can't get his head to really move down, but it looks up a little bit. So there you go. Okay, there's some articulation there. Yeah, obviously they're on a ball joint. So I will let you know that because Slim's head was off when, in the package. So it was on a ball joint. It popped right back on. There you go. Hits that Michael Myers. And you can get these heads to move around if you want to. But I'm not going to do all that. Um, yeah, his hair is very pokey on Shorty and very pokey. So yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, so just to let you guys know, okay, and Shorty's arms, yeah, he's ready for a boxing match. Look, oh yeah, he got some shoulders up, he's ready to go. Look at that, come on, come on, you want some? <laughs> I remember they made fun of him and knocked the dude's head off. All right, so there you go, and then obviously, yeah, he can be like the winner, right? Right, knocks the dude's head off. So there you go, and his arms do go up and around. That's how he was, huh? Remember? He was like this. <laughs> These guys are like fun to play with. Man, thank you Trick or Treat Studios for putting something out like that. These guys are amazing. They're super. I love the way that they are. All right. So from here down, the rest of the figure, there is no more articulation. 
Um, this is a harder molded plastic. Uh, the rest of it is all like one piece plastic. Shorty's a little heavy, so just letting you know. He's probably heavier than fat, so uh, all the way through. And then as far as articulation in the feet, there's no articulation. And there you have the stamp of approval on the very bottom of the feet. It looks like there would be some articulation here, but there is not, folks. And then I forgot to mention on the bottom of that's those feet there you have it uh but yeah that's about all the articulation that we got from our clowns so just letting you know all right folks hopefully you enjoyed that video of the killer clowns from outer space video uh what do you guys think are you pre-ordered to get this did you get some did you get the full all three of them can't wait for the rest could you imagine if they make uh what is it clownzilla uh and a few others so yeah could you imagine so something to keep in mind get on the get on the wagon right now pick these up from trick-or-treat studios the moment they become available uh keep checking in with them they do up they do get stuff in daily so letting you know or check with toy slayer on ebay he will more than likely uh have them if not they're just getting so hard to uh fine okay so there you go there is how right there with farmer vincent um you could see him um we will add in um right here let's go with look at that candy man all those reviews are in hand something to keep in mind uh and then we'll put michael myers in there michael myers is sold out like heavily like um trick-or-treat studios is um having trouble even getting those in so um yeah he is sold out like big time so just be patient with him and i'm sure trick-or-treat studios will get them for you because even um my guy the toy slayer was like how'd you get him not realizing that trick-or-treat studios sent them out for me so there you go folks there is the whole wave um period after i received michael in the mail i went ahead and i had it i was like how do i get the rest because the killer clowns were sold out and then uh farmer um vincent was sold out and trick-or-treat studios did have jacob and Candyman. last i checked uh and so i'm not i don't know if the rest are on pre-order or what how you're gonna get them but toy slayer had them on and he was sending them out and he like uh sold out on the first time he had him and then the second time he got him and i don't know if he could even get a michael because michael is so back ordered uh just to let you guys know keep him in mind but he might have one now he is getting stuff daily from trick or tree studios trick or tree studios right up the street from right up the road from us well they're probably about maybe an hour and a half away from us they're in santa cruz california so uh yeah they are they're right on the money and they are doing their best folks to get them in your hands so just keep that in mind they are doing their best to make sure that all their audience is happy uh they also have masks they have uh like coloring books board games uh they have cosplay on there every, just about all that whatever contains to pertains to horror Trick or Treat Studios carries it, and now they're in the action figure line. What do you think? What do you think of this whole line? Are you going to get it? Have you received this whole line? What do you guys think about this? I absolutely love it. I welcome Trick or Treat Studios to the dance. Um, all the way around, folks. All right, folks. So please like, comment, subscribe. And from most to yours, everyone, thank you for logging in. Have a safe and happy holidays. Be safe out there, folks. Uh, don't just think about yourself. Think about others, especially when you're on the road. Think about families that are out there and just be cautious and safe. Uh, if you had a little too much to, you know, you're feeling a little, a little wobbly, a little, a little, your swagger ain't so high, you know, catch an Uber or whatever it is. Get yourself home safely. Uh, and let's all move on and have it and move into 2024 and make 2024 better than 2023 folks so from most torn yours good night everyone